Hey everyone, I'm Steven and this is The Sound of Tech. Have you ever found yourself out in the middle of nowhere, desperately waving your phone around trying to get, you know, just a bar or two of signal? Well, you're not alone. Australia with its vast landmass poses a unique challenge for network coverage. In fact, did you know that 87% of Australians live within 50 kilometers of the coast? That leaves a massive chunk of the land area without reliable mobile network coverage even with our largest network provider, Telstra. While normally this is not a huge issue because there is coverage in most major regional towns, we can already see the limitation that's caused by how much this infrastructure costs to build. This also doesn't even factor in the cost of fixed internet and landline connection costs. It's very apparent that this is not scalable anytime in the near future. And even as good as our current services can get through upgrades, there's always going to be a large portion of Australia left without any network coverage at all. So, what's the game changer? Low Earth Orbit, or LEO, technologies. It's the hero that we've all been waiting for here in Australia. Back in July of 2023, there were some really exciting announcements for Australia around increasing internet network coverage to even some of the most regional areas of Australia using this LEO technology. While we have seen the adoption of these LEO technologies grow significantly in the past couple years, especially since the introduction of Starlink to Australia, I want to talk a bit about how some of our major service providers are changing to be able to adopt this technology in the next couple years. Telstra, the telecom giant here in Australia, has teamed up with Starlink to beam fixed internet and voice services into the farthest corners of Australia. This could be a game changer for remote communities here in Australia, not only by making it more accessible for customers to get this technology, but also potentially bundling in with their current services. It really is exciting times. The adoption of these service offerings by Telstra should help create a more widespread adoption of this LEO technology and be able to bring it to the hands of everyday Australians. But hold on, the second largest provider, Optus, has gone in a completely different direction with this LEO technology and has announced their partnership with SpaceX in July to provide direct to mobile satellite service and increase their network coverage to an advertised 100% of Australia. Now, I do feel the need to add a small disclaimer. I did work in the retail sector of Optus for about two years, but none of this information that I have is secret and it's all available to the public. So I'm just hoping to use my knowledge to bring some clarity to what they plan for their offerings. The first planned step in Optus's announcement is to start rolling out satellite SMS from late 2024, this year. At the moment, what we are being told is that most devices that are 4G enabled will be able to connect to these satellites without any extra technology or upgrades um, when they're in the line of sight. While this won't be useful at your home or in a building, the ability to send an SMS while out in the middle of nowhere will be incredibly useful, especially for people wanting to check in with their loved ones, communicate for work, or just reach out for help when they need it. In no way is this technology going to replace telephone towers, especially in the meantime while we still have latency issues. However, it will go a long way in supporting our current mobile networks and, quote, expand the reach of customers' mobile connectivity to include the 60% of Australia's landmass that currently has no mobile coverage, end quote. Optus then intends to bring mobile voice and data services by the end of 2025 or next year. In the current moment, we don't know if they're going to include this with their current services or if anyone will have to pay extra for plans with satellite connectivity. But nonetheless, I'm excited to try it out and I'm absolutely looking forward to being able to give this a go. While this was announced a couple of months ago, I was reminded of this when I read an article about Apple's crash detection feature alerting authorities of a crash here in Australia. One of the most exciting things of the recent moves in technology is the advancement in safety features. With features like crash detection and Apple's satellite emergency SOS, which recently rolled out in Australia, it is comforting to know that the technology that we have is able to support us while we explore and enjoy our lives and be more of an aid than it is a distraction. Whether or not you're with Optus or ever will be, this is an amazing step forward for technology in Australia, as Optus has said that anyone with a 4G compatible device will be able to get in contact with emergency services through their LEO feature. So if for nothing else, there'll be an amazing technology 
that allows all of Australians to get help when they really need it most. I will definitely be making more content on this direct to mobile technology as soon as it's available. But I'm curious in the meantime, what do you think about SpaceX joining hands with our local providers? Drop your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.